Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and that's another episode of Reason 12 for Beginners. In this video we create a complete arrangement for a dance track together and you will be amazed how easy it is. Good to have you here, let's go! The first thing we want to do is to find a perfect tempo. At the moment we have 120 BPM, means beats per minute, sounds like this. Uh, for dance track, something around 125 is good. Maybe we make it a little faster. Let's go to 120 and 6. If you don't hear the metronome, you can turn this on here where it says click on off. Okay, the first thing we want is a synthesizer. So uh, we open the browser if it's not already open. We go here to instruments and here we have the Europe shape shifting synthesizer. Uh, we load it by moving it into our rack or simply by double clicking it. And now we have it here in the rack and also as a track in our sequencer. Uh, at the moment we don't need the sequencer so we close it and now we can play it with our keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard, very easy, go to Windows and here to show on screen piano keys and now you can play it here with the mouse or with this little letters on your uh, keyboard A, S, D, F, G uh, so you can listen to the sound. Um, what is uh, the same at every synthesizer, at every drum or sampler uh, rack? You can change the presets here by using this little arrows here. So, or you can double click them here. So, let's go to a sound called Key of Life. I double click it and it sounds like this. That's fine. Um, let's open the sequencer and let's make a double click here in the line of key of life on the first bar to create an empty clip or pattern. As we just want to hear this one bar with this one pattern, let's move the right cursor of the right locator to bar number two. You also can do this by holding down the command key or the uh, control key and clicking here on bar 2. And now if the loop here is on, you should be able to hear this in a loop. So now we make a double click. We want to create a track in E minor and we want to start with the E. So what we have to see is here C2 uh, to C3, this area we have to see, maybe a little bit bigger. So let's click on the H, letter H to zoom in. Um, and we want to see the beginning, so we move to the left. And take care that you see the 16th. So maybe um, if you don't see the 16th, then you have to go here to 116, then you see exactly 16. Um, fills in this for this one bar, right? And now we make a double click here on E2. Um, if you don't know how to find the E2, just search for the two black keys on top of C2 and here we can make a double click. Wonderful. And now we leave two sixteenths empty and make another one here. So three sixteenths is a eight dotted, and this is very important in club tracks. The three sixteenths you see very often as an interesting rhythmic. So we keep this rhythmic. So two empty sixteenths and one note, two empty sixteenths and one note, and again two times empty and one time here. And now instead of making the last note also after two empty sixteenths, we move it one to the left. So just one empty sixteenth. And now we listen. Cool somehow, right? So let's uh, make a second bar. To do so, we move this little arrow one bar to the right. And also we want to hear the two bars. So also we move the right locator to 3.1. And now we 
copy this one here to the left. To copy it, hold down the Alt or Option key. And now, and now we move all these notes three steps up. One, two, three, to the G. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Now we want to generate four bars. So to see more uh, in the same size, we close the browser. Okay. And now we see one bar more, but we want to see another bar. So maybe we have to zoom out a little bit. Let's do this with the letter G. Um, I had to push it four times or three times. And here we move. Now we have four bars from one, one to five, one. And now we also move the right locator. All right. And now we move it again to bar three, but this time we go down to D, what is between the two black keys. And we need it a fourth time. So we go up here in the last bar to A, what is here between the upper two of the three black keys. All right. Um, if you did it right, it should sound like this. That's pretty cool, but there is a way to make it even better. So let's open the browser because we don't, at the moment, we always hear just one note, but we want to hear a complete chord. And for this, we have to change the notes. Instead of changing the notes in our piano roll here in the editor, we change the notes by using an effect tool called a player. So what are the players doing? They are changing our notes in different ways. We use the scale and chords and move it on top of the Europe. Now let's see what is happening. Ah, that sounds great. Ah, uh, I don't like this one. Why is that? Because we are in the scale of C major. But I told you this track is in E minor. So let's go to E, not major. Let's go to minor. And let's listen again. That sounds pretty cool. So to make it even more interesting, we use the button add octave up. All right. Let's close the sequencer. Okay, here on the bottom we have some effects. The first one is the reverb, then we have a delay, distortion, compressor, phaser, EQ. So let's take a look to the reverb. Uh, the most important uh, knob is the amount. So if you turn it down, it's 0% amount, means no effect, means no reverb. If you go to 100%, you just hear the reverb and you don't hear the original. Let's check this out. This is where it was. Now we go down to zero. Now we go up to 100. Yeah, something like 50 is okay. Here we can make the decay time, means how long is the reverb. Let's bring it up to 60. Yeah, 60 should be nice. Let's add a delay. So we click on DLY, what it says delay. We click on on. To hear the delay even better, let's turn off the reverb. Let's bring the amount to something like 50%. Now we can change the delay time here where it says time. Okay, but we want to have a delay in time. So we click on sync and now we can use, for example, a eighth note or a quarter note here, one slash four or a half note, 
half note is two slash four. Let's go back to eight notes as, as this sounds best in this case. Let's turn on ping pong. So it should be a little bit more stereo. Let's turn on some feedback. This is how often you hear it. Or to be exactly how much you send back to the import, uh, input of the delay. But still it's too much, so let's go to, I would say, 25. We turn on the reverb. Alright. That sounds great. Let's add another instrument. Um, so there are two different ways how to find an instrument. You can go to instruments and decide for an instrument. Like I want a Euro synth, I want a, uh, want a grain sample manipulator. Or you can choose for a sound, doesn't matter which instrument is using the sound. So all the sounds uh, you find here on Reason Sounds. What do we need? We want to have a bass. There are three categories of bass, the acoustic, the electric and the synth. Synth is exactly what we need. And I would go for, um, why don't we take the Amazon bass? Yeah, let's double click it. Oh, sounds pretty cool and some kind of modern, I would say. Uh, let's open the sequencer. Uh, we have to close the editor. Let's do this here where it says close. And here we see the key of life um, and the Amazon base, Amazon base. And by holding down the optional alt key, we can copy this to the Amazon base. And let's listen to this. We also can listen solo to this, means without all the other instruments, in this case without the key of life. Very important at the bass is the octave. If it's too high, it does not sound like a bass. If it's too low, you don't hear the exactly note. You don't understand which note it is. This is for me too high. So I take this and go exactly one octave down. What means one octave? We are now in the octave uh, C2 to 3, 4 between the black lower two keys of the three. We go now to the two uh, lower black keys between the two lower keys in the lower octave means between C1 and C2. So from here to there exactly one octave lower. We also do this here. This is also too high for a bass. Wonderful. There's a lot of reverb on this sound. Um, why don't we listen? Here we have uh, a knob where it says reverb. Let's bring this down a little bit. This is, by the way, the Combinator uh, tool that is coming new with Reason 12. But we take a look in a later tutorial how this is working. Now it sounds nice. Let's click again on solo to hear both instruments. So now we can stop the click as we now add some drums. To find some drums, we use the Dr. Octorex loop player. With a double click, we bring it in the arrangement. And now we can click here on run to hear this. But this sounds more like rock drums. What we want is more electronic drums. So let's go here on drums. Or oh, you also could do this here. Um, but here you just see everything that is in this folder. And to see the other folders, you have to go on browse. So let's do it here. Um, we open electronic drums and maybe we go to tech house. Uh, to see the names, we can click here exactly where the mouse gets the symbol and move it to the right. And now we can see the names. If you don't see it, maybe you also have to move this here. And to hear a sound, we simply move it on top of the drums. Yeah, that's cool. 
Let's try another one, the number four. That sounds nice. So I use the Tech House Set 4. They sound pretty cool. Now I want to have some effects on these drums, but first maybe we listen together with our arrangement. Maybe we have to move up the volume. On every instrument you have here the level and let's make this. If you want to hear it without the other instruments, simply click here on solo. By the way, we can close the sequencer. And now we want to hear some effects on this. Maybe we start with some kind of modulation. Uh, here's the sweeper modulation effect. So again, you have to open the browser, you have to go to effects, and here um, you find the sweeper modulation effect. And these this are some kinds of phaser flanger uh, things. Okay, sounds nice. You can change again here the presets to hear different presets. This one sounds nice. It's also a phaser called White Force Stage Phaser. That's pretty cool. I want another effect and that's the channel EQ. So let's move the channel EQ to this track. And in the channel EQ, we have a high pass filter. Let's turn it on by clicking on on. And now let's see how it sounds if we filter this. So I don't want to have the low frequencies. So let's go to something like 150. That's cool. Maybe we push a little bit the mid frequencies. So we push here a little bit like plus three. And here we go to something like one or two kilohertz. Plus two, plus three at one dot seven, something around between one and two is good. All, all right. So let's listen to everything. We click again on the solo button to hear everything. So this is a nice background beat, but now we are missing the main beat. And uh, to be honest with you, I have always in every door, I have problems with the main drum sounds as I could not imagine imagine to use them to create a professional club track or a radio track or whatever. So I always try to find a drum sounds that sounds a little bit better for me. And for this, I always go to some online pages where I can find good drum sounds. There are many pages, but there's just one page where you find high quality samples and they are all for free. Simply go to mugent.com. Um, you spell it M-U-G-E-N-T.com. You don't have to log in. You don't need a credit card. Simply listen, find and download. So uh, we want to have some drums, not beats as beats are complete beats where everything is already playing. We just want simply single drums. So we go to drums. Here are already our first drums that we could listen to. We go to kick. Kick is another word for bass drum. Um, and now we also, here's a nice techno kick, uh, find the right genre. Uh, maybe we go to house. All right. We have here three sounds. The kick house pasha, the space house Top kick, this is just a top kick to add with the main kick, so not what we need. But also the space kick sounds nice. Why don't we download both? Maybe you find here different sounds as uh, there are everyday new samples on Mutant, so maybe you don't see exactly the same like me. If you want exactly the same uh, samples, simply give in, uh, type in here the name Kick House Pasha or kick house space. So, but now we want another uh, drum instrument. Let's go to snare. 
So still it's drums, it's house music and in this time snare. There are two nice snare samples. I prefer the first one called the Snare House Pasha. And at the moment we click on free download, it's already in our download folder. We need a hi-hat. Um, there are a lot of hi-hats in the house genre. Yeah, this could be nice. I don't like this. This one is nice, the hi-hat open 4. And what do we have here? Also this one, hi-hat closed one. And let's load a clap. So we go to clap. And let's listen to the both. Let's go for the clap house pasha. All right. So now we have here in our downloads folder all the samples. And now we load the uh, redrum drum sampler. And now we change the samples. We simply take our uh, first bass drum, the kick pasha, and move it on the first slot. We take the space house kick, move it to the second slot, the snare on the third, now the clap on number four, and the hi-hat close on five, and the open on six, and the other open on seven. All right. Maybe you want to place the samples in the same folder like your project. Otherwise, you always have the problem if you erase the samples uh, reason or, or if you move it to another folder later, reason will not find it anymore. So it's always good to have them in your project folder. All right. Um, now we open the sequencer. Um, we close the editor that is still open. We create another clip or pattern and let's reduce everything to one bar. We double click it. We close the browser so we can make this one bar as big as possible. Let's go to bar one. Now it looks good and we want to see the 16th. Wonderful. The bass drum should be four to the floor, means on one, 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 two, one, three, and four. Let's listen. Sounds great. Uh, let's check out the other kick, as the kick is very important. It's always good to listen to two different uh, sounds. I prefer the spaced uh, house kick. Um, the snare we place on two and four, and also the clap on one, two, and one, four. That's cool. Now let's add a hi hat. The hi hat, the classic position for the hi hat, is always one eighth note after the kick. Means exactly between uh, the kick. That's here, 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 and here. Now we select it and check out the other sounds. Also okay. I like this one. But it's a little bit old fashioned because it's so long. Maybe we can make it shorter. That's uh, this sample here. And here we can change the length. Let's check this out. So let's close the editor. Let's copy with by holding down the optional alt key our beat to the four bars and let's listen to our little piece. Pretty nice. Uh, we have to change something in the mixer because now it's everything is a little bit loud and close to have a distortion. So we open the mixer 
And the first thing we want to do, you see here, let, let's close maybe the rack and the sequencer so the mixer is bigger. We have here our channels, means um, I can go to solo, the Amazon bass, the, the hip hop kit, the electronic beat and the Europe synthesizer and this is our master channel means everything is in here and here we can turn on the compressor what is a compressor doing it's bringing down the dynamic if the dynamic is too much you can take control with a compressor um, you have to decide if you make it two to one or four to one four to one is higher is more compression i would go for four to one ten to one is a little bit too much and the lower the threshold is the more compression you have you see the compression here if this goes too much up like eight or twelve it does not sound nice uh, if it's too low like nothing is moving it's uh, not enough so That's pretty nice. And now we need some master inserts. So at the moment the inserts are on bypass. So I click here on the word bypass to turn all the master inserts on. We go to edit insert. We scroll down uh, to see the last one of this master inserts and the max, that's the maximizer. The more input you send, the more compression you have on the limiter. A little bit is also good. If it's too much, it does not sound nice. So let's go uh, back to minus eight or something. Now the track is not loud enough. We make it louder, louder. The louder we make it, the more the limiter is working, what you see here. If the limiter is working too much, it does not sound nice. Sometimes you want it so hard like this. In this case, I would go to something like uh, input gain, like 3 dB, 2 dB. That sounds nice. Let's close the mixer. I want to show you a funny thing that you maybe didn't see until now. If you click the tabulator key, on your keyboard you can move the rack and see it from the back side where you also could change this cable connections here. Uh, let's go to the sequencer and listen to the whole track. My name is Thomas Foster and this is my YouTube channel Thomas Foster Music. Please write me in the comments if this tutorial was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel to not miss a next tutorial for Reason 12. Good to have you here. Always stay creative. Cheers! My name is Thomas Foster and this is my YouTube or Facebook channel Thomas Foster Music Production, which is all about music production. Here you will find tutorials on the most important DAWs or music programs, the most important plugins and I'll show you how to produce the current sound of the charts and the clubs. If you have any questions about this video or more generally about music production, just write me in the comments. I'll answer all your questions. Of course, I'm also happy about the simple feedback or suggestion for another video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos. At this point, I say thank you for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers.